since the beginning of last year, we've really been forced to look at our water savings and water efficiency, and it's now really becoming part of the practical things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Realising just how valuable water is, it's not necessarily a never-ending resource. And I think making our students global citizens and moving forward and being aware of the very small changes that they can make and make a big difference has been really exciting. So we were using 22,000 litres of water a day, which was huge. We looked at a number of um, water saving initiatives that we could put in place around the school and we managed to reduce it down to currently 14,000 litres a day we're using during term time and 11,000 litres a day during holiday time. The biggest thing we did initially was to introduce smart meters which showed us very quickly whether or not we had a leak running water, leaky toilet in certain buildings. So that was probably the best thing we did to start with. So the balance tanks underneath the pool collect the rainwater from the roof. They are then used by H2O Systems who are our pool operators. They use them to do the backwashing in the pool, they use them to clean the concourse, our staff use them to wash out the toilets and they're also used for grey water for the toilets in the facility. We've got two heritage lawns that we do need to keep watered, so we will have sprinklers out there, but these are connected to non-potable water that is in our storage tanks. We work with our contractors and they truck in non-potable water, uh, which they store on the back of their tank and clean off our buildings. We're putting mulch down on all of our plants and that's quite good at keeping the moisture in. Also too, it's really important that the girls see us making savings. They see us not using hoses frivolously or sprinklers. Um, our irrigation system's turned off or it's on a timer system. We're only watering in the early hours of the morning. We've got the water care timers in our swimming pools and in our boarding houses to remind the girls how long four minute showers are. All of our junior school girls have um, tiny little watering cans that they leave outside to collect the rainwater, which they then use to water all their pots around the school. We're really looking at sustainability, carbon zero, all of those good things that you know we're teaching our students to be those wonderful global citizens leading into future.